What is up, Gwent friends? And this is Brucounder here with the second deck guide. Um, doing this in video because, like the other one, it was pretty easy to do it in video. This time we're going to play with Skellige, Curse Uncreate. This is a curse deck um, slash bear deck. A lot of bears. We love bears. Let's just start right off with. Um, going through some of the cards some of their synergies and we'll play uh, like two games see if we can do that all right so first off we have Olaf um, deal 10 damage to self reduce damage inflicted by two um, reduce the damage inflicted by two for each beast you played this match so this can be a fully 20 if you play at least five bears and that's pretty easy for us as you can see we have um, a lot of bears three of these so it just spawns a bear um, three of these raging bears and we have a one savage bear that's way more than enough for it to trigger it I can get I can get it to trigger almost every match so pretty good cart um, next up Yennefer Unicorn boosts all units by two. Deal two damage to all other units. You can choose one of those. Um, this is obviously very good. It synergizes against swarm decks, and it synergizes against, um, let's say, these boys, the Marauders. Deal boost self by one for each damage or cursed ally. So if I damage all my allies with the Chironex, it just stacks up. Plus the Chironex is also cursed, so pretty good synergy. Um, Heim, of course, amazing card. Um, play a bronze or silver cursed unit from deck. We always pick this one, unless we really don't have any other cursed units in our deck. We just do whispers. Um, yeah, you can pretty much choose whatever card you want to play, so it's a great gold. And then we have Muzzle, Charm, moving enemy to the opposite, opposite row, aka just stealing an enemy. Bronze or Silver with 8 power or less, so it's a 16 power swing, guaranteed every time. If you pull an 8 power, plus just freaking annoying if someone steals your unit that you're like synergizing on, so it's a great card. Ulrich, uh, pretty standard card advantage spy, so we can use this to gain card advantage. Uh, Jenge fret, this is a very important card, because um, this, you never want this in your hand, you never want this in your hand, you're always going to pull it with croc, because strength is the highest non-spying bronze or silver unit by two and play it, and that's always this one, always, unless it's in your hand, so it's always this one. Herald's great card again. Um, spawn Wolfer to the left, Wilhelm to the right, and Wilmar in the opposite row. As you can see, that which strengthened a random ally, that which deal one damage to all enemies. And then on the other side, on the other row, you have this one. So these two synergize on each other. If this, this one kill Wilhelm kills Wilmar, and it will spawn a bear. So another bear, you know, for Olaf. Big boy Olaf. Um, Harold always synergizes with Jenge because you kill Wilfred and Wilhelm because this is a death wish. You need to kill them. You kill those two with um, with uh, Jenge. Jenge Fred. And I'm just gonna go through the silvers and then it's pretty alright. So Scal, play a random bronze or silver, silver curse unit from your deck. So we have shit ton of s cursed units these are pretty much all cursed units Th these two uh, we have uh, savage we have herald we have Ulderic. yeah that's pretty much it uh, sick free guy resurrect the bronze or silver clan unit this one can resurrect a lot of stuff but more most importantly it can resurrect Genge if we ever want a high power swing because this is this power issues it's huge because it will strengthen plus the two strengthen from croc it will always be a 20 point play if you get the resurrect um well 23 points with the uh, three from sigfriga restore 
Restore is amazing card. Return a bronze or silver skeleton like unit from your grave card to your hand at the doomed category to it and set its base power to 8. Then play a card. So pretty much, I always use this on either the Heimei Spare Maiden. So this becomes an 8 point unit. Or on the Tursak Bear Master. So this becomes an 8 point unit. Synergize is pretty good. Alright, uh, let's go look for a match. So I've been pretty alright with this deck. 11 2 3. It's pretty good. People have you no idea peace. what they're facing. Fight for it. For Alright, so as I said, you never want this in your hand, so I'm just gonna mully this. Uh, let's see, always want a spare maiden, always want one of these. I'll just mully one of those away. There you go. Got muscle, get herald. This is a pretty good hand. It's a pretty good hand. Has everything that I need. Um, I'm not gonna mully anymore. I think this is alright. Alright, so he starts. Let's check it out. <clears throat> um, we don't have a savage bear. It's totally fine. Alright, that's a very weird first play, but because this actually, like, as you can see, be self by five, it played from the deck, so I don't know why he didn't mully that one, but maybe, uh, I don't know. Alright, so we're just gonna start with Raging Berserker. So when this unit is damage, we can transform into a bear. So we're gonna combo this with this deal one damage for a soldier ally and then play a copy of it. Alright, well, that is. I didn't expect that. So yeah. It's not even a bad play at all. Um. Can do a mu oh shit we we could have muzzled that way earlier yeah I I just didn't I've never seen this before that's why uh I didn't think of this combo at all but nonetheless um he has 29 cards up but it's pretty alright if you just get to thin your deck a little bit with this combo it's totally alright. Alright, so a lot of armor. Let's first say bear mass. Pretty much the spawns of bear. So we already have two bears down for Olaf. It doesn't tell you, but it'll never tell you actually. Alright, let's see. Um, do we want to pass here or what are we going to do? I don't really want to play Harold because he has a lot of armor right now. And I feel like he's, he can boost too. But we could. Let's see. Play another one with Heim. Another Berserker with Heim. Or get lucky with Skell. I think I'm going to get lucky with Skell. Let's see if he can draw a Berserker. Wouldn't be bad if he drawed a Savage Bear or a Marauder, but let's just. Or should we wait? I, no, I think I'm going to pass. You know what? Yeah, I'm just going to play with a cursed unit. The gods won't be pleased. All right, this is pretty alright. If we have this one in my graveyard, it's totally no big deal. I always want to go for this one. Because we have... We have two bone talismans. These can resurrect them. So that's totally fine if those are in my graveyard. I think I'm gonna mully in right here. He's probably gonna pass. I'll just play my berserker. It's a dead card anyway. Alright, this means the only cursed units we still have in our deck are Marauders and we have one Savage Bear. Go, there's another bear master. Um, do we want to keep this or do we want to molly this? I think we're gonna keep it. Yeah, yeah. All right, 
Alright, so we already have guaranteed the pull on the, those two marauders right now. Let's just start off with this. Come here. Come get a heart right, this is hump. gonna pull a marauder always. Yield and save me some time. But what am I gonna do with this? Because I still have this one up. AKA Jenge. So, yeah, that's you always try and see if you can combo the Herald and the Jenga as soon as possible. Of course, that doesn't work always, so. Alright, let's just go for the... Oh, we could... Nah, this is actually way better. So, we're gonna go Hey Maiden. Oh, fuck. Oh, we clicked the wrong one. Well, that's alright. We still have the other one. No, it's totally fine. It doesn't matter. Stop this one. Done. You see that it's a big point swing. We still have this one, so this one's gonna pull out another marauder. And the other marauder is in the graveyard, which can be resurrected. Alright, we're just gonna s what are we gonna do actually? I'm actually gonna mully or uh, muzzle this. So that means he won't be able to synergize that. So that's one less unit for him. Um, let's go for. Let's go for a savage bear. We should have done this way earlier, actually, but it's all right. Too bad we didn't draw Olaf, really too bad. Jesus, this guy has a shit ton of armor. Alright, we're gonna just set up Herald right now. Now, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cursed units. Skull with it, too, but. You want to pull this. You want to pull this off as soon as you can before you boost Wilmar. That's always a big gamble right now. You, I could play my Berserkers, get one more point, but you need this is 12 points. Like you need to do this as soon as possible. You don't want him to boost that one. There you go. He wasn't smart enough to boost that one, but it's totally fine for me. Even at two of those boosts. All right, now time for the big combo. You've got the heart. Look at this point swing. 5 plus 12. Ah, deal 1 damage wrong. via positive drill. We're gonna do a random ally too. Sweep. Plus 3. Plus 12. Or 11. So 5 plus 16 plus 11 plus 3. That's insane. Minus 1. Minus 2 actually. That's insane. That's an insane swing. That's why I love this deck, that insane swing that you almost always guarantee to have. I just love it. Alright, so we're gonna play Curse. This is gonna pull a Marauder, guaranteed. I fear nothing. Plus 7, 16 points right there. Look at that, 52 points up front. Like this dude still has to claim all the armor. He probably will soon. It's gonna be a huge swing for him as well. Um, I'm gonna split this. The time for blabbering is we need to see what are we gonna resurrect. I think we're just gonna go sure. for a raging bear, I guess. Or wait, we need it to be a clan unit, so. That's, it's gonna be a Tersic. I mix it for that battle. It's gonna be a Tersic. The goddess protect you from all evil. But all them bears, ooh, them bears. Fifty-two points. But we're broke as shit peddlers. For the king. There you go. Boost is my unit too. Then we're gonna rest this berserker, a marauder. I mean. Ha! 
Let's right here. 20 points, 65, guys. Might not like it, but you sure oh, God, This guy is definitely not even close to it. This is a huge, huge, huge win. There you go. That's that deck. Easy, right? The combos are not even that fucking difficult. It's very easy to learn. Alright, Alchemist. Alright, um, let's do another game. Another quick game. So yeah, I pretty much showed every card, right? Yeah. I didn't have an old rig, but yeah. If you wanna, I think I'm going through more of the basics on my other guide, my uh, monsters frost guide, frost two. That one goes a bit more through the basics of Gwent. Um, if you wanna get to know the basics of Gwent, I recommend you check out that video as well. All right, so here we are again. Um, this is pretty bad. We don't have any spare maidens. Um, let's hope we molly one of those. So, alright, Jenge, alright, no spare mains, alright, this is pretty much a letdown, um, very For you, my friend, inefficient, always. can't really pull off an early game combo. The storm is coming, let's enjoy the weather while we still can. <sighs> this is guy gonna hyper thin. Blood and neck ends, Similian Vat. Hyper thin swap, 21 points already, Jesus Christ. I'll just play this. Sure, you can pet him. As long as you don't mind losing an arm. And then I'll play Ulderic, see what we get. I'm not really on a... I can't win this round. I'm not gonna win this round. I'm not gonna win this round. There's no way I can win this round. We do what must be done. Just gonna see what we're gonna He's get. Here. All right, definitely a Zigbriga. So he plays another card. All right, that's totally fine. So we have a raging berserker in our uh, graveyard. We have muscle. That's pretty good. Oh, look at that! All gold cards. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, what to mully right here, huh? I'm gonna let loose of these berserkers. Is he gonna pass or? Yep. Alright, I'm just gonna play a uh, Marauder so we can always rest it later. Especially with the Bone Talisman. Guaranteed Marauder. Do we want it? Do we want it? I mean, yeah, we don't have any spare maidens, so this is gonna be a very hard game without any spare maidens. I don't know what's a molly eater. Nah, all right, we're just gonna go YOLO. So this is, as I said, it serves as a bait. This guy will probably lock it or Alzir's Thunder or destroy it in any way. Try to. The time of there the you go. Frost and white light See? Is nigh. It's bait. That card has no value to me at all. Other than giving Olaf a boost. Um, Heim, I'm gonna Heim for the Heralds. Right now I'm just gonna play... Play uh, bear boy. Yep, highest value. Get him, boy tech. Let's see, Nineteen points, dude. Nineteen. Slaughter them two. All right, I'm gonna muzzle that. 
so that's mine now. <laughs> To be honest, this doesn't synergize with my deck at all because I need damaged units. <laughs> but alright. Hey. I think this was pretty huge for him. Otherwise, he'd already play another one because he won these as early as possible. We could herald it right now, but let's see. Let's just play our let's just play our uh, throwaways first. Come here. Come get a heart, a bear hug. <laughs> Well, yeah, what? yeah, that's totally fine. All right, I'm gonna herald that row right now. Let's see. This doesn't have any target, by the way. This doesn't have a target at all. That's totally fine. Well, whatever. All right, time for heralds. Get up. Well, right. So he doesn't boost the uh, low far as always. All right, ambush. Totally fine with that. Let's go. All right. <laughs> You're coming with me, dead or alive. This and we're gonna trigger this one. There we go. Pew, bear. Forty points already. Doesn't mean too much this early in the game, but. Right All right, that's gonna be a uh, what's it called? I don't I don't remember her name, but she's gonna boost all these units. So just have to keep an eye on that. How many units does she have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I have two, five, nine. All right, I'm just gonna play my uh, berserkers. I fear nothing. Huge card. This is gonna be a huge card. None shall tread on us. Okay. Is he running hand buff as well? If he is, that's gonna be great. Cause I need a target for uh, Siegfrieda. Please kill something. Please kill uh kill this guy. Or, uh, skill. Let's see, do we want a Yennefer right now? Do we want a Yennefer right now? Uh, I think we want to. I'm just gonna play another Berserker. Or Marauder, I mean. Who's the courage to fight the Valkyrs, eh? <sighs> yeah, if I have card advantage, I, I mean, more cards than she has on the board, I'll just boost with Unicorn. For a laugh. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't play enough bears because we still have two of these. That's why he damaged himself by like only two. Want? Okay. So let's see. Four. Four. Three. So that's eleven. I'm just gonna boost. To fight the I'm just gonna boost. Right? Good old boost. Unless she's 
I'm gonna destroy right now with my hand. May your sword and arm be one. I can't rest anyone. You crossed the wrong sorceress. Your tricks will not save you, Dwarf. Alright, this is a dead card, but I'm gonna be uh, very surprised if she can pull it off. Nah, there we go. Yep, four points. A reveal yeah so yeah that's uh, that round amazing deck isn't it all right I think uh, I'm gonna leave it at that we played two games um, you probably saw every combo um, you can mess around with this deck um, Definitely has a lot of other synergies. I think this is just a really fun deck to play, first of all. I love Skellige. Second, it's pretty strong. This is a 13, 3, 1 streak right now that I'm on. 18, 81% win percentage. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, please feel free to um, comment on a video, wherever. Message me, check out Fever Clan, um, and thanks for watching. See ya.